Hello everyone. Um, I am going to um, share with you another video, and uh, this is for um, IT application tools and business, right? Actually, this is my this is my third video. Okay, so I'll be I'll be discussing um, uh, Microsoft Word. Okay, and I'll try to start from from the scratch okay so for example um, if I am going to start um, a miss word uh, it depends huh? it depends like for example here um, it depends upon the setup of your um, personal computer or laptop okay. in my case I have this um, right I have this um, shortcut for a word so i can either go to here and click okay and then i can start i can start my my image word or uh by default you can can make use of your mouse printer okay point your mouse printer to start button or window window icon right click this one and look for image word so i have here an image word click this one and then you can start your your um, image word um, documents and uh, um, image word is, is, is um, giving you some uh, feature templates okay um, but then um, in this particular um, screen I only have this blank document but usually um, I'll try it again okay because my, my, my internet is a little bit slow but uh, I suppose to have some feature templates in here. For example, if you are going to create um, um, resume or uh, by data or memorandums, there are some feature templates in here with the miss word that you can select. But in this particular um, uh, video, um, I have to click this blank document to start working with the miss word. So when you click this one, then the image word brings you to here. This is now the working area of um, image word. Okay, so that's it. And uh, I would like to um, share with you if you are within, okay, the working area of image word, how it looks like. Okay, a while ago I showed you the live, right, the live uh, window or. Uh, working area of an image word and for discussion purposes I would like to show this screen here okay um, and image word working area or document area is composed of several parts okay number one you have this here help help button when you click this help button all right you'll you, you can see a lot of options there you can you can you can type in your your concern and when you press enter key um image word will give you the the help on how to to do things using image word okay and then the next part is ruler here this one uh, this is the ruler um by just looking at the ruler you can you can identify the the margin top margin okay um left margin bottom and right margin I'll try to share with you my my live screen here okay so i don't have any ruler here but when i'm going to click view and check ruler check box then i can have here the ruler uh part okay so the vertical ruler and the horizontal ruler then you can play around you can change the margin in here and I'll be I'll be having separate video in this but for now I am trying to explore you to the working area of um, image word document okay so that's it and uh, the next part is this one title bar okay title bar by default the file name is document one does image word right you can change this document document one to your desired one okay I'll try to go back to or here we have this document one does word or image word and when I'm going to to save right um, 
for example um, when I'm going to save this one okay when I'm going to name it as um, Kuya Kuya Ig Word oh, I'm sorry this is an open command so click this one save and uh, when I'm going to say Kuya Ig Word when I press enter when I press save command look at my title bar instead of document one I do have Kuya Ig Word does word okay so meaning when I'm going to have anything in here say for example resume or by data when I press save um, at any time of the moment or by next week or by next month um, when I'm going to make use of this one or reuse the resume that I did um, I can just go to file open and look for Kuya Igward alright so this is what this is title bar okay and uh, the next part is here um, ribbon what is this ribbon so all these things from file home insert and anything these are actually ribbons okay so I would like to show you the different parts of ribbons here these are actually the ribbons all right so you can you can click anything in here and uh, when we talk of ribbon it is composed of three parts number one is tabs tabs are actually this one file tab home tab insert tab page layout tab references tab mailings review view and add in tabs these are actually tabs the next one is groups groups are actually here um, for example um, anything that can manipulate the size the appearance of okay, a character or a word is being grouped here right we have bold icon or uh, italic underline right the font style and the font size so it's being groups so this is part of the ribbons ribbons are group all right uh, according to its function for example tabs tabs are all here at the upper part and uh, the next one is uh, any commands that will manipulate the, the, the appearance the size and anything right? and then another group here all right that will try to manipulate the placement of the word it's either at the left part the center the right part or justify it. okay and uh, the next part of ribbon is commands commands are individual commands like for example bold icon italic and so on and so on, okay i'd like to show you my 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 my, my uh, live screen okay when i'm going to click home all right so if you can um, right you can remember here similar to my 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 live screen okay and these are actually ribbons and ribbons are being grouped in accordance with the purpose or functions all right so bold italic underline font size and font style are being grouped together and uh, commands that will try to right manipulate the placement of your document are also being dropped here and so on and so forth and these are actually commands okay so there are three parts of a ribbon tabs groups and uh, commands okay so that's it and the next part is this one quick access toolbar here the quick access toolbar is located at here right so what is the function of this quick access toolbar it's for shortcut method shortcut so say for example here I, I'm going to go back to my screen uh, these are actually quick access toolbars okay so when you want to save you can click here shortcut for saving and click right and your system saves and if you want to create a new blank document you can make use of the quick access toolbar or the long cut method click file right and the same open save save us all these things are found in the quick access toolbar so meaning quick quick access toolbar intends for shortcut way of doing things shortcut way of saving shortcut way of opening shortcut way of creating new documents and any 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 
and when you if you want to have a the normal way of doing things you can go to file and select for anything okay that's the function of um, uh, quick access to all bar. and then the next part is file tab so these are actually tabs file tab home tab insert and so on and so on. so when you click any of these there are several there are uh, 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 different parts for example when you click file there's so many sub menus here or sub commands when you click insert there are also another set of ribbons when you click design tab there are another set of right commands or ribbons so that's it okay that's uh that's uh file tab or tab k okay and then the next one is by the way i forgot to one this one here this minimize maximize and close they are actually control menu bar these buttons control the appearance of the document if you want to close this window you can make your click close button if you want to maximize the appearance of the window you can click this one and if you want to minimize that this window will nothing exist but it's placed on the taskbar here right so you can do that by way of clicking minimize button by the way when you click maximize button uh, this is actually a two button uh, placement when you click maximize uh, restore button will come in right and when you click restore button then maximize will come in okay so you can you can uh, here uh, uh, say for example here these are actually the the the, the control menu bar when i click uh, minimize button right uh, it's here it's in taskbar okay when i click uh, this one restore button uh, here i only have small window smaller window when i click maximize it goes back to the result when i want to close this one i click close button okay so that's it uh, the next one is dialog box launcher so any of a here um, available uh, group of ribbons there are, we have this dialog box launcher okay so for example here um I try clicking home tab so when i click this one dialog, dialog box launcher for for font so all right so i can i can then select anything in here about font so quick launcher is and here for this group of tab uh, commands when i click this one okay i i see a lot of sub commands in here uh right based on this so here for the alignments Manipulation of the placement of words when I click this one, I can select here. All right, so if I want to write, oh, okay, so these are actually things that you can also still do when, when you click all the, the commands in here. Okay, so that's quick um, box launcher, and this one here, this is the working area of image work, this is the document area here. So going back to my screen, this one here. This is actually the working area. This is the place where you can type. Okay. Presenter. This is the working area. And uh, the next one is um, status bar here. Status bar. Um, under status bar, you can see the, the, the updates, the performance of your uh, document. Okay. Like here. Look at this. The status bar says page one of one, meaning I am at page one, and uh, I I have three words. Look at this, three words. So one, two, and three. So it gives you updates. So when I add another words, for example, so I have now four words. So this is the the, the status bar, okay? And the next one is this one, view buttons. There are actually five available commands in here under view buttons um, view buttons controls how your working area looks like okay how your document area looks like so here um, this one this is right this is the, the 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 view buttons control view buttons if I want to click this read mode uh, all right my 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 document change when I go back to the normal way of right the print layout it goes back to the original one okay so that's it uh, view buttons and lastly we have this some control 
zone control. It controls the 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 the, the view of your um, working area. So going back to my live uh, image word, if you mean this is the zone area here. So if you want to, if I want to magnify my document, I can do that by sliding my mouse to the right, and I have here a big, okay. And if I want to make it small, then I have this. One. So this is the now, this is the the, the this is the normal view, okay. So that's zoom control. Okay, I I'll repeat. The minimize, maximize, and close button is actually part of the control menu maneuver. It controls the appearance of your window, and you have the help button. When you click this one, you can ask a lot of help if you are you know um, confused using some of the MS Word commands. Uh, the next one is ruler, right? You can you can see the margins, the proper margins, the top button left and right. And you can set indent or tabs, tab stop. Title bar here, all right. Ribbons, is, these are actually ribbons, and it's being grouped in accordance with their, with, with its function. Quick access toolbar is for shortcut way of saving, opening, and uh, making new documents. This one are actually tabs, file tabs, home tab, insert tab, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's it. And uh, status bar, document area, view buttons, and uh, zone control. I, I hope you was able to discuss the different parts of um, Ibis Word uh, document. Okay, so now I would like to show you the next part of my discussion. Backstage view. What is this backstage view all about? Okay, what is this backstage view? Now this is now the backstage view. When you click file tab, then what will comes out is actually the backstage view. So each tab has its own backstage view, right? So going back to my image word document, when I click file, this is now the backstage view of file tab, right? You can do a lot of commands in here, okay? Uh, which I'm going to discuss in a separate video. When I click uh, insert, uh, what is this? Uh, Sum doesn't have, uh, all right? So that's it, help. So you can, Look at this, you can upload, you can share, you can copy path, you can open file, location, right? You can do some protect document, inspect document, and manage. So this is what? This is the backstage view, okay? Going back to my, my notes, okay? By the way, I did use this one, tutorialspoint.com. Okay? I, 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 I love the, 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 pre the presentation of um, each um, topic, okay? So I think um, that's it for this video. I, I, I hope I, I was able to explain the, the basics of MS Word, how to start, okay, how to manage the working area, the document area, what are the different parts and its functions. Okay? I hope I, I, I did it well. Okay? So um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, God bless you. Goodbye for now. God is good.